It's 630 Monday morning. We're in the Strip District at Pittsburgh Cut Flower. Now this isn't a place for you to come down here as a retailer. This is for wholesalers only, but we're going to learn how fresh flowers can make the winter go by a little bit quicker. We're here with Rick Lowe. He's a salesman here at Pittsburgh Cut Flower. Rick? How you doing, sir? Thanks for having us. This looks great. Tell me what happens here every morning. It's 6.30 in the morning and you look wide awake. <laughs> wide awake. <laughs> Been here for uh, an hour and a half already. Basically what goes on here is in the middle of the night, trucks will come from all over the country. Uh, we have trucks that come from California. Uh, we have trucks that come from Florida, which brings all our South American product up. What happens is they unload it in the cooler in the middle of the night. We're not here. When we come in, the first thing we do is break the trucks down, make sure that everything that they say is here is here, and then bring it out on the floor for sale. Uh, it's very important for the flowers to be fresh, and we really try uh, and bring the freshest flowers in and try to keep them in the best atmosphere for that. We have coolers set at 38 degrees. And what's the temperature in here? It's in not here warm. We're about between 50 and 60. Uh, we, we have to keep we have to keep the flowers cold out here. Now these are only here until about 11 o'clock. Talk about the importance of getting the flowers locally. I mean, your local florist gets it right from here. Why is that so important? Well. The freshness, the fact that these people hand pick them and they have designers design them. If you order off some of those 800 numbers, they're going to send you a box of flowers with the flowers in it in a vase, and you're going to have to put it in yourself. If you order from one of your local florists, they're going to take the time and give you a nice quality flower and have a designer hand design it to your specifications. They don't do that when you call an 800 number. At the end of the day, a couple buckets left over, do you get to take some roses home? <laughs> <laughs> Taking roses home doesn't do anything for me. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, How long have you been in the flower industry? I've been in the flower industry 32 years. So it's, at some point, I'm sure it used to be, you'd be bringing roses home be, all the right, time. It used to be, I tried to why is, the ladies. You know, why has that changed okay. now, yeah, like with your, with your wife? I mean, it's, it's, it's come to expect it, I guess. I mean, I still do and I still have to, but it's not as much as when we were courting, <laughs> you might say. You know, when we come in here, never being in here before, we're struck by the beauty of all the flowers. Do you still feel that? Oh yeah, I, it's one of the reasons why I'm still in the business. I, I love the flowers, I love the, the things that they do. Like you say, taking flowers home, when, when you give flowers to a person and just see their face light up, it's, it's worth a million dollars. I love it, I've been doing it for about 50 years. Uh, in the business for about 50 years, I started out in the greenhouse business um, did sales after that in the silk flowers, artificial flowers. And then I come back into plants probably about uh, 10, 12 years ago. What is it about working with plants that interests you so much? Um, I just enjoy it. I think it has to be in your blood. I really do. I mean, there's study after study that proves that flowers improve your outlook and improve your demeanor and make you happier. And uh, I, I'd like to see more people give that a shot. Favorite all-time flower? Rose. You gotta be the rose, Gotta huh? be the rose. If I ever, I recommend roses to everybody. If anyone calls me up and says, I'm getting married, I'm going to my florist, what should I ask them for? I tell them roses. Do roses in your bouquets. It's, it's the uh, tried and true flower. I'd probably save myself probably daffodils. <laughs> <laughs> I like lilies. Stargazers or white orientals, pink oriental lilies. I, I really like how they smell and how they open up. As gardeners, we understand the power of flowers, but right now they're under a carpet of snow, and that's why a great bunch of flowers like this can make the winter go much quicker. We'll see you next week. Yeah, I, I just don't take as many flowers home because, you know, it'd be like you taking a bunch of post cassettes. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. That, that explains it.